what is up guys I'm Fiyelorak here and I'm bringing you guys part one of Battlefield 3 for Call of Duty dummies I know that may sound a little bit offensive but it's a little series that I came up with that I figured out that I gathered a little bit of knowledge during the week that Call of Battlefield 3 beta has been out that I could tell you guys tell you guys a little bit of tips on Battlefield 3 and at the end of this whole series I'll make up my first impressions of Battlefield 3 th saying telling you guys if if I'm gonna get it, why I'm not gonna get it, and why or or why or why not a regular Battlefield person um, or a regular Call of Duty person? That was a little mistake right there. Call of Duty person should get it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, see you guys then. So toying around with the Battlefield bad or Battlefield Three, you know, um, kit system, which I've you know, there's not really that much of playing around. All you had to do, you get a gun. Well, you get many guns as you progress during the levels, but at the low levels, you only use the AK-47. That's the only gun I've been using. I bet you advanced Battlefield players probably already have all the guns already. I know a person who is, who's already has the most powerfulest guns in the game, the OP gun that he says, and we have faced in, you know, in um, separate in lobbies before when, you know, Battlefield 3 has been acting up, has been getting his boo-boos in a tutu, you know what I mean? And that gun is pretty overpowered when you know battlefield fucks up the squads and he's in the opposite team which is way way he is way advanced more more advanced in the game than i am and just butts fuck me in the game you know what i mean so yeah so so some um of you battlefield players probably already gotten it but with the assault packages i've realized that you know you get this medikit right so it took me a while to realize how to use the medikit first i thought i had to you know drop it down and hold x or a to you know to use it to you know use the actual medic pack but i just realized that all i had to do was stand on it and here's the deal with um health regeneration on um battlefield 3 the more you move when your health is low you, um you know your health will never regenerate that's what i've seen that's what i've personally seen on the bottom right corner of my screen when i'm playing battlefield you know and that's what you know what's happening you know that's what i've seen that that's it doesn't happen so like a person like me i'm a call of duty person so i like to run around get into their face get in get up in there like like in this gameplay this is why i choose this um gameplay because it was a perfect example of what the assault packages should be used as and they should use be used as what they were they what they're used for assault as in you know pushing into their spawn and doing work and that's what I did. You know, this bridge right here on the Operation um, Metro, this bridge right here is a central point to their exact spawn. That whole field right there, if they do not, you know, run in a, in a squad, you can literally just pick out people um, coming from this bridge and coming in and out of the bridge, you know. As long as you, you know, you drop down your medic packages, you know. With the medic package that I did, I made sure I, put, um, I placed it down, you know. I placed down the medic pack package and I, you know... Every time I would take fire from an enemy, I would just lay on that thing and regain my health. And that's what the meta pack is for, you know. You lay down on it and your health keeps regenerating, regenerating, you're regenerating, and you're eventually going to hit 100% again. So let's talk about bullet damage right here. Bullet damage in this game is very, very fast, um, you guys. Like, for Call of Duty people, like, even though we play fast pace, you know, once we have that stopping power on it's a two-hit kill... People drop like that. In Battlefield, when you get shot, there is no room to hide. Like, seriously, guys, since this is like this is a beta, so I, I can understand. It may be a problem or something, but I feel like every time I get shot, I can never evade. Like, like even though, like, it depends. Like, my shot, it's pretty bad, you know? Like, my shot is horrible in this game, you know? Because I'm not used to the up and down recoil of guns. You know, especially when I have the ACOG on an AK-47 that has an up and down um, type of um, type of rate of fire, you know. So I usually just can't control it. And but I use I can usually c control it if I'm on like a steady target or when the target's like moving forward, not moving left to right. So you I'm um, you know I'm used to that, you know. So with the um, uh, I lost my train of thought. What the fuck? <laughs> like all I remember is ACOG and then that's it. So let's just jump on to the other topic on medic. What I wanted to talk about, you know. Oh, now I remember. Thank you, brain. Um, <laughs> that um, that you know, when you did like getting getting shot 
in this game is very, really, really fast. You know, like, since you have 100%, like, in this part right here, I'm dropping down med packets, um, med packs for myself. Because I know there's going to be some, pe um, yeah, either an enemy team right there as I'm shooting him horribly. They're either going to be a team coming from my, uh, my right or my left. So I keep the medic there just in case if I get shot, I can just stand on that. It'll... It won't recover your health, all right? Like, let's say you're getting shot by an enemy target, right? It won't, like, recover your health while you're getting shot, you know? It'll just, you know, it'll just give you the time to, like, at least regenerate a little bit, like, 1% of health to give you that, you know, that, you know, that time that, for survival, I think, you know? You know what I mean? Like, um... Like that split second for survival, to, for you to get that one bullet that, you know, that, you know depends on whether you get the guy or you drop you know what i mean so that's why i you know i like that's why i've been you and you know i've been playing with really really advanced um battlefield players you know so that's why i feel like my skills on battlefield they i literally thought my skills on battlefield when i first heard there was going to be an open beta i thought it was going to suck but since i have like a these battlefield elites man like there's this guy who's i don't know if it's true I he said it was true but i heard he's number one on globally on the battlefield playlist and like honestly i, I kind of believe it because he, he is kind of good well not kind of he is good at battlefield you know all these all the tips that i'm tell, telling you guys now my call of duty people my call of duty homeboys that i'm telling you guys right now if you're gonna jump on battlefield is from him like so give a big props on him his name is mac miller i'll leave his you know gamer tag in the description and you can say hey i heard you're cool cool at call um battlefield can i play with you you know because i know like honestly the struggle in, pl in playing with battlefield like right now battlefield is a very it's a very 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 team based if you have a bad player whatsoever you will struggle a lot you know it will be very 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 hard to play um especially when you only have one game mode and which that game mode being rush it is very very hard to play rush with if you have stupid teammates and that's what i'm telling you squad up right try to find some homeboys that you or some home girls or whatever and play some battlefield with a team because if you do not have a good team you will literally just balls off be terrible at the game because this is a team oriented game this isn't like call of duty where you could go into a game of domination play by yourself and expect to win you know like like a single person can j jump on a b flag and cap it you know but it takes like a whole team to plant a b rush um, point and you know defend that point all the way you know even though I'm, i was only playing with three people and then we, then we got to we kind of split up because we gave up on EA some horrible horrible squad up server. It's not really the squad up server, it's just the fact that the beta right now is is really dumb. Like EA fix it, fix the squad because cuz I'm going to use this every time I'm going to mention squad. What's the whole point of allowing people to squad up or party up and have it be broken? You know? That that seems very 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 stupid. You know what I mean? So yeah guys, so assault, remember, assault is used for assaulting, you know, it's not used for something to be defending, that's more of the engineer class, that's going to be the next on our how to or battlefield 3 for Call of Duty dummies, that's going to be for our next um, thing, you know, we're going to use, I'm like, I'm hoping this series is to explain all the um all the kits out to you guys call of duty guys because we're used to you know having our stuff ready you know we're not used to it be giving it um have our guns given to us you know we're used to creating our our thermal our thermal f2000s you know when we're feeling a little bit anxious you know what i mean so yeah you know so because these are these aren't default you know you do get guns in the game but it's very very um late on in the game like i believe in like in the level 20s i'm right now i believe i'm level 10 i think i think i'm level 10 in the game uh i believe i don't know and the only guns i have is the ak the m4 carbine and you know they're good you know the reason why i like using default guns is because you get good with them and it's kind of like this um this little ability that you have against people like you can use an ak-47 no it's you know how far the bullets are gonna go the damage it's gonna have the recoil is gonna have and you could probably win all your gunfights that's why i suggest knowing knowing the default guns is probably one of the best strategies i could give you into this how to use um series or battlefield 3 for dummies so yeah you guys the game is over hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys
hopefully tomorrow. Peace.